I'm Coyote Peterson. Now, there's a rule you have to follow when you're in the desert. Whenever you're gonna put your boots on, you gotta make sure you shake them out first. And this is why. Look at that. That is the giant desert hairy scorpion. The largest scorpion species that lives out here in the Sonoran Desert. Okay. As the sun sets on the scorching heat of the desert, all things that creep and crawl begin to emerge from their burrows. Tonight I'm in the Sonoran Desert searching for the creatures that most consider a nightmare. All sorts of little holes down here. From big hairy tarantulas, thankfully they don't eat coyotes, to lightning quick desert centipedes, when the sun goes down, you stand the chance of encountering them all. One arachnid that you're almost guaranteed to find in the dark of night is the scorpion. I'm not particularly fond of scorpions. The whole like lobster pincher with a stinger on the tail, not something you dream of running into. Armed up front with a set of pedipalps and a venom injecting stinger in the back, I'm not embarrassed to say that this is one desert dweller that really makes my skin crawl. So the best way to locate scorpions in the dark is a black light. Tonight we're gonna go out and try to find some giant desert hairy scorpions. Encountering these predators at night with a black light is a fun and easy way to encounter them. Ooh, that makes you nervous. Oh, 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 he's trying to sing me, he's trying to sing me. That is the giant desert hairy scorpion. But we wanted to give you an up close look by the light of day. So we held on to one until sunrise to show you just how creepy looking they really are. Get a hold of him here. So this scorpion didn't really crawl into my boot on its own. I placed it there. I caught this guy last night in the wash using black lights. But I wanted to give you an example of a common occurrence that does happen here in the desert. Scorpions, black widows, sometimes even brown recluse will climb into a boot to get out of the sun during the day and find themselves some shade. Now this scorpion here isn't gonna kill you, but you do wanna watch out for bark scorpions. It's the most potent venom that you can run across from any arachnid here in the desert. And it's usually the scorpions with the larger pinchers that have a less potent venom. But I'll tell you what, I don't think you want to be stung by any species of scorpion. Now the reason these scorpions are named Giant Desert Hairy is because they're the largest species of scorpion here in the Sonoran Desert. And you can also see they've got those dark long brown hairs that run along the base of the tail and up onto that stinger. And scorpions have very poor eyesight, especially during the day, and the way that they can sense predators is vibrations in the ground. These vibrations that they sense with the little hairs on their forelimbs and their pinchers also help them detect their prey. Now, the scorpion is an ambush predator, and the way that they hunt, here, check this out. They will actually hide amongst the rocks at night, and they will wait for insects or small lizards to come along. They'll reach out with those pinchers, grab hold, and then strike down with that stinger, and let their prey just kind of squiggle there and die from the venom, and then they've got their meal. Now, the scorpion is a nocturnal species of arachnid, and the best way to come across these creepy crawlies is to go out at night with a black light, shine around in piles of rocks or along the wash, and they glow a bright neon green. And it was using a black light last night that I was able to catch this scorpion so I could have it here for you this morning to give you this example of why you always want to shake out your hiking boots before you head off into the desert. If you thought that was an amazing animal encounter, make sure to check out these other videos. And don't forget, subscribe so you can become part of the adventure on this season of Breaking Trail.